Welcome back to Vore's Physical Media Rant. I'm Vanessa and he's Charles. Don't forget to like our video. It lets us know that you actually like the content that we are putting out. It also helps YouTube algorithm get more of our videos out there for people like you and people like us. Don't forget to comment down below and keep subscribing. Welcome back to another movie review. Mm -hmm. Seems like we've been doing a lot of movie reviews lately. We have. This is another movie review of a movie review that's going to be coming in Paramount Scares Volume 2. And uh, Scream Factory did this. Mm -hmm. It's the review of World War Z. There's the front. There's the And the back. And there is this part. So like we had said before, uh, a lot of people might be a little t pissed off or ticked about this because if they pick this up, the 4K that Scream Factory did, Paramount is putting out in their box set, The Scares Volume 2, World War Z, mm -hmm. the unrated, It's supposed right? to be the unrated cut, but uh, hearing that it might not be the unrated cut, it might just be the theatrical cut. Which is mm -hmm. really going to piss some people off. Mm -hmm. but. So this movie is about zombies. So it takes place dealing with a family, which is Brad Pitt's family. He used to do a certain job and he left that job to be more closer to his family. And they were on their way to a trip and all of a sudden hell breaks loose they don't know exactly what caused who is patient zero what caused this to happen but he takes his family through this whole journey trying to keep them safe and he finally gets away from the zombies and then he kind of gets thrown back in there the only reason why he can be his family can be safe is if he goes and goes back to his old job so he has to, his job is trying to figure out where patient zero started, figure out where it came from, if we could, they could find a cure for this. And they go all the way through till what, the close to the end of the movie. It's not a cure, but it's a way to disguise themselves from the zombies. So mm -hmm. pretty much live your life, but with the zombies. Yeah, live amongst them where they don't attack you. Yes. Where hopefully that... They just become bones and ash and just deteriorate and die, I guess. That's what the movie's about. Mm-hmm. But, uh, we watched the theatrical cut. Mm hmm I have never seen this before this, but I wasn't always the biggest Brad Pitt fan either, so, uh... He wasn't. Still not so much, but, uh, I heard the extended cut's a lot better. Or the unrated, mm -hmm. but uh, I think this movie could have had a lot more gore in it, especially when compared to, with zombies, as you know they eat you alive. Yeah, I felt like they they knocked it down to a PG thirteen right. rating, which to me is a bitch rating, because with a zombie you need to have it graphic like a Walking Dead type thing. Mm -hmm. I or, felt like it didn't really focus as much on the zombies as you would think it should, because yeah. it is a zombie movie. Like when the zombies were in it, in it I got really interested. Mm -hmm. But before that, it kind of it was a little slow. But I didn't really give a shit about Brad Pitt and his character and whatnot. I wanted to see the zombies just devour everybody. Right. That's what you watch zombie movies for, just to see them devour everybody, mm -hmm. blood, guts, and all ripping, you know, right. skin, you know, whatnot. But uh, I do like what they do though. When you do get to see the zombies, yeah. that. They, normally when you watch a zombie movie, they, you know, they kind of just, you know, walk around and, you know, come and attack you. They don't, you know, climb up buildings. They don't, you do any of that. They're not, you know what I mean? Like, it was nice to actually see the zombies be a little more intelligent in this movie. That was one of my favorite parts of the movie when they were trying to climb up the side of that wall there. Yes. They kept building behind each other to get up. Actually. Yeah, in Jerusalem, yeah. Because they were trying to get to Israel, remember? Yes. But... That was cool. That was one of my most favorite parts of the mm -hmm. movie. Really. That's when he really got uh, the z zombie apocalypse right there. Right. 
and they're running through Jerusalem and trying to stay away from that. Yeah. But this comes with three discs. Mm -hmm. And uh, the obviously the first disc is the 4K. It's the theatrical cut. It has a new 2023 4K master. The second disc is the theatrical cut. It has a new 2023 4K ma uh, master. It has World War Z production four part documentary on the making of the film. Origins, looking the science, uh, trailer, and TV spots. And disc three is the Blu ray version of the extended cut. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being said, obviously the theatrical cut was about an hour and 56 minutes, PG 13 rating. The other one, other cut extended, is the 123 minutes. There's a bit of difference. There's apparently a lot more gore added in, more mm -hmm. of the story driven. A couple more minutes that was added in, but uh, the transfer was I wouldn't say like it wasn't phenomenal. No, it was like I don't know. I mean, that's the way they filmed it, but what is this movie from 2013? Mm -hmm. But I didn't see what it looked like on Blu ray. I think it could have been. See, that's the problem sometimes Dolby Vision don't always pop like HDR does mm -hmm. but sometimes it does you never know but to me it didn't like stand out it wasn't overly bright no it, it wasn't, wasn't dull it wasn't dull it wasn't dark it was like a mix of any mix in between now this could have used Dolby Atmos I don't know why this didn't get a Dolby Atmos uh, track put into this right especially Paramount being from the first one that you figure they would have done that when you mm -hmm. think right but uh this obviously this is a paramount film mm -hmm. it's because it's going to be in the paramount scares but i don't think they should have added this one into the scares unless it's actually going to be the 4k of the unrated extended mm -hmm. then that's going to be different because if not it's basically going to be your screen factory one that they did thrown into that which was the transfer was right. already done which get people a little heated right but well, hopefully if they do do the extended cut one that they do throw, maybe possibly throw in Dolby Atmos in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. I guess we'll find out when, we'll it, find when, out. It, when it comes. That ain't too far away. But Would I recommend this? Uh, hmm. That'd be hard for me. I'm not the biggest Brad Pitt fan. He's kind of a mediocre actor, in my opinion. He just don't bring star power to this movie, I would say. Cause he, I know he's a big star, but it's just like, he's like there. But he's not like a character that like stands out. Yeah, he's not like one, I guess, I guess I understand where you're trying to come from. He's not, in this movie, he doesn't stand out where he's, you know, more the action type. And he's kind of like, oh, okay. He feels weird. No. He feels weird to be in this type of movie because I don't think he belongs in a movie like this. No. I think they probably picked the wrong actor to be in this movie. To be honest with you. Right. I think. But I believe the director's like base this film around Brad Pitt. I believe. He was kind of a sissy. Yeah, that's that's one thing I didn't like about Brad Pitt's character in this one. He was he was right. definitely a sissy. He was, right. I mean, he did. Like the whole, you know, covering his arms with some yeah, he, magazines and his legs. Like, that was actually really smart. You know, I just, I do, don't get me wrong, I do like the movie. I just wish there was definitely more zombies mixed into it. And Brad Pitt's character could have been, you know, more like, okay, well, obviously I gotta deal with this. So I gotta, you know, get out there and fight to get what I need to get to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It didn't seem like that. It didn't really, uh, it wasn't a bad movie. No. I would, uh, I would say on a sale, mm -hmm. unless you're getting the, uh, scare set, I would wait for that. I would not recommend going in right now and ordering this. This is not a movie that needs to be seen like that. I don't, I don't think. Mm -hmm. It did hit me, uh, the way I was hoping that it would have. I'm kind of like weird Brad Pitt in a movie like this. I'm like, I don't think it's gonna and then it really didn't right like I said when they started climbing the wall and whatnot 
you got the real zombie apocalypse there. It just was not enough for me. Because I watched Walking Dead. Romero, obviously. Right. So I'm used to that type zombie type shit. Mm -hmm. So it didn't bring it in. Of course, with a PG-13 rating, you couldn't do too much. Which no. That kind of sucked. You, you want to do a movie like this rated R or yeah. unrated, obviously. But that, I wish they would have did the uh, 4K of the unrated. Whether that's going to be in the Scares Volume 2, it remains to be seen. Right. There's rumor that it's going to be the theatrical cut, which... That's already been done. That's already been done, which is bullshit. That's just complete laziness. They're putting it in there. Yeah, especially because this came out, I believe, last year. Yeah. And Scream Factory was given the rights to go ahead and do it. And then now you're going to put in your box set. And then if you're going to be doing the theatrical, that's just a waste. You just literally took everything that Scream Factory just did and, like, you shit on Scream Factory. Which I hope that's not the case. I hope they do the unrated, the extended cut, whatever you want to call it, uh, and then do it as their own. Because, like he said, a lot of people are going to be really ticked off if it is just the theatrical, just re-release what Scream Factory did and just put your own cover on it. Mm. But that, that would be stealing, at <laughs> my point. But even though it, Paramount does own it, but the fact that Scream Factory took their time and redid this and then if they put it into their set like you know you guys understand like comment down below how you feel about the situation let us know if you like this movie or not mm -hmm. if you're a you thought Brad Pitt was a bitch in this like I I thought he, that he was but of course I'm not a big fan of him from any way I mean right. he's just not one of those actors that I would gravitate toward I knew going in that he is probably not going to like this movie. But I still wanted him to watch it to see... I wanted his opinion on it. I expected more. Yeah. I wanted more gore. With being a zombie movie, you expect gore. Yes. Period. Because they, they rip you apart. They eat they you. Yeah, they rip your skin. You know, I'm expecting to see, you know... Mm -hmm. I do like the fact that, you know... Normally, like when you see Walking Dead, you get bit. And then it's, you know... Like, mm -hmm. hours later, this is not. This is, like, okay, you get bit, and, like, what, 12, 10, 12 seconds? Bam, you are now a zombie. Yeah. Which I did like. Because the infection just takes over mm -hmm. that quickly. I don't know, maybe it's just the director's vision on it. But right. Would I recommend this? Probably not. Maybe, uh... Once I watch the unrated cut, I might feel a bit different mm -hmm. on this, and we'll be back with a review for that one. Mm -hmm. But... For now, this is our theatrical review. I do not recommend this whatsoever. I would not, I probably would not pick this up on a sale either. But probably maybe for the unrated cut, but like I said, we did not watch that. We watched the 4K to give you the 4K like review the, the 4K of it. The, the review of the picture and the sound and whatnot. But that's my faults. Okay, I would say if you like this movie you've seen this movie i would definitely pick it up on a sale like a really good sale not like oh hey look it's five dollars off no i i would definitely wait for a good good sale for this especially knowing that paramount is going to be putting this out in that scares box set or just wait mm -hmm. i i liked the movie but like i said like he we don't always agree on movies like this some is... he likes some i don't and vice versa but I just know that knowing that the Paramount set is coming out I would honestly hold off on purchasing this just because it is coming in the box set if you are planning on getting the box set then you're wasting money purchasing mm -hmm. this one and then getting that one uh, or but if you like I said if you are not planning on getting that box set and you really want this movie, then I would definitely wait for a sale. I wouldn't recommend it, period. But where this is one review where I disagree with everything she just said. <laughs> but my view may change on the unrated cut. Right. But it's going to have to be a, one hell of a difference for me to change my view on this. Mm -hmm. It's not just because Brad Pitt's in it. You could put Nicolas Cage in it, I still wouldn't like it. Right. But... I think Nicolas Cage would have been a better pick for this movie, to be honest with you, because of, of his tics, the way he acts. Yes. But 
But if he was also in it, it would also be kind of different, though. It would be more towards, like, kind of like the Walking Dead feel, you yeah. know? Like, this is this is a different take because this, this is, is somebody take, trying to find a cure yeah. for uh, for being a zombie. I, I don't know. I can't say zombie is, a, you know? Yeah, it's a different take. It's but... a different take, so it's, mm. it's kind of hard to say that it's, like, this is a zombie movie because... I mean, there is zombies in it, but I do agree with him on that, on that, that there's not enough of the zombies in it. There's not enough zombies ripping people to shreds right. and going about that. They're coming after them, running after them and whatnot, but not, they don't show enough where they're like, the zombies are devouring them. Right. And ripping them in the blood and the guts and all that. It's just not, it's just not there. I understand it's a PG-13 rating, but. I think it could have been a lot better than what it was, and she recommends I do not. By any means, I would give this a probably a one out of five. I expected at least a two out of you. <laughs> but it's a one out of five for me. It may change once we watch the unrated extended. Right. That it may up. It may get worse. But as of now, my my stance is one out of five. I would probably actually rec be like a, to be honest, probably a two, just because I mean it. It didn't wow. You know, it wasn't bright. I mean, I understand parts of it was dark, but the parts that weren't dark should have been brighter, uh, in my opinion. So I would I would say a two. It's some movie for some people. Mm -hmm. It's not a movie for me. I just expected more. Like I said, I'm not a Brad Pitt fan, but that wouldn't have changed my views regardless. On it's what? Just, no. It's just, I couldn't just base it on just because I don't really care for the actor that much. Mm -hmm. But he's an actor I can tolerate. Some movies I like him in. It's just this, this one, one I just did not. But, it didn't really fit him. But I don't recommend. She recommends on a sale. Yes. But uh, it had to be at, like at a yard sale for me. But. If you're getting the scare set, then by all means wait. If you're not, yeah. you don't want to get the scare set, and you want you want this movie, and you really like this movie, then that's thumbs up for you. I mean, if that's what you like. But that is our review, our faults mm -hmm. in a movie review that we both do not agree on. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to agree on this one anyway. No, I but knew we weren't going to. That's our review for World War Z. We'll mm -hmm. see you on the next one. Bye.